video. Today I'm going to take you through a full day of eating and a full day of training. I'm going to try to get around 4,000 calories in and 260 grams of protein. So this morning I got three whole eggs, 12 ounces of Yukon Glow potatoes, two cups of blueberries, and of course a 20 gram Oikos protein yogurt. Like I always show you guys, this is my breakfast every single day. It's easy to digest and it keeps me going, keeps me primed so I can hit two sessions hard each and every single day. I just went outside and did my daily five minute routine out there where I took my yolk, got my water intake in. I drink about 30 ounces of water every single morning just to recharge my body and get me moving. And then I do a lot of cervical spine mobility, a lot of lateral flexion stuff, a lot of flexion and extension stuff, and then rotation work. This just kind of gets my, my mind going, my body moving, so I don't feel stiff and kind of fatigued as the morning progresses. And then I do a lot of spinal work. I do some things called Spinal Waves by Edo Portal. They're very good. I did film a clip on that out there. I just don't know how good the quality of it came out, so I'm telling you guys here. So pretty much just band that out. It takes three to five minutes, sets me up for a big day. And so now I'm gonna house this meal, and then I'm gonna continue to show you guys what I'm eating throughout the day, what I'm doing, and yeah, let's go. Let's get after it. It's also super important to create systems and habits that work for you, whether that be in your day-to-day -day routine or what you eat. I got this concept from James Clear. We want to create systems and habits that work best for you to set you up for long-term success. So I'm a big believer in just staying in the day, getting a ton of stuff done, optimizing your routine, not worrying about the past, not worrying about the future, being cognizant of it, of course, like being aware that you want to go to this certain place, but don't hyper fixate over it and it causes you to have paralysis by, al by analysis and you'll have super anxiety and you won't get anywhere. So just create systems that work best for you, stay in the day, enjoy your supplement routine, enjoy your sessions at the gym, enjoy your work, enjoy your time with your kids and just do things every single day that's going to get the ball going and it's going to move you forward in life. So if you think of things in that specific realm, then you're going to be a lot better off mentally and physically. And then of course, before we head off to session one, we're crushing a half scoop of bulk pre-workout peach mango, absolutely fire. And then we're going to take some electrolytes. I take 1500 milligrams of sodium every single day. This has been huge for me. I take that with my car powder. Then I took my multivitamins, my supplements, and that's gonna set me up for a productive day. It's a habit that's a part of my system that I don't miss ever, and it's a non-negotiable. I'll never miss taking my supplements ever. So that's something that you gotta set into your routine so you don't miss it as well. And then pretty much what we got this morning is a lot of sandbag work, sandbag squats, and then we have some handstand push-up work. So I'm gonna get ready to go there now. We did a five minute imam with 150 pound sandbag carries for 100 feet, then 100 foot farmer's walks, and then we did zercher holds. That was my first time ever doing zercher holds. I did 225 for 30 seconds, five sets. That definitely hurt the arms more than I expected. I definitely think my tolerance will get go up as I continue to get better at it, but it was just like so much pressure on my veins and like my forearms that I was like, oh damn. So it was definitely not as hard as I thought on the anterior core, but the pain on my forearms and biceps was definitely pretty high. So I'm definitely excited to continue to push those and get better at them. And like anything, as you continue to adapt and grow, I'm sure the pain gets way less and you're able to push the load a lot more. All right, we just finished 30 strict handstand push-ups for time. I got it done in three minutes and 30 seconds. This is definitely still a weakness of mine, but it's improving. We're doing 30 to 50 reps of handstand push-ups five to six times a week just to really accumulate volume and just to get my body so used to pushing overhead because come time when I'm competing in February for the CrossFit Open, if I can't do handstand push-ups under fatigue, I'm not gonna progress into the quarterfinals or regionals, etc. So that's something that I really need to hone in on, just continue to push that and make that a conscious effort every single day. And like I always talk about, you gotta drill your weaknesses, drill, drill, drill your weaknesses. Like 
Obviously, it's, it's awesome to come in here if you can bench 315 and just bench all the time. But if your squat's 135 and you never do it because your, your ego can't handle it, and that's a huge problem. You should be coming in here and squatting two to three times a week and benching once a week. So hammer your weaknesses and obviously work on your strengths as well, but weaknesses and level those up and you're gonna be a lot better off. So I'm done with session one and now we're gonna go on to the rest of the workday. All right, we're back at the supplement station making our pre-workout. Half scoop in the morning, half scoop now, so we're not overdoing it. Only 200 milligrams of caffeine every single day. And then we got the carb powder again, and then we're making two scoops of grass-fed whey protein isolate. I'm just gonna put it right in here, just so I can have right after training. Then I'll have my banana. Then we got the steaks defrosting for dinner tonight. And yeah, pretty much gonna sip on this. Head over there, we got some snatches from the blocks, some squats, some Metcon, pretty much three hours worth of work. So I'm gonna bang this out, and then you'll catch me in the next clip. All right, we just warmed up with 175 for two on snatch. So right now we got two inches below the knee, two snatch doubles. We're gonna see what we can get. Last week we got 225. We're gonna keep pushing. We'll, we're gonna try to get up to 225, 230 again today, just from a little bit below the knee, and we'll see how it goes. that snatch work. Two inches below the knee was a little far to me. I've never done it. Usually I do mid patella. So I hit 225 for two last week, mid patella. And this week I did 215 for two. It just felt a little off. I was catching the bar forward a little bit, but definitely gonna continue to improve on that and build it as we go. I just wasn't really feeling the true triple extension. And like I said, I was catching everything forward because I wasn't finishing the rep. So a learning curve. And now we're gonna hit some back squats. We got every two minutes for 10 minutes, 365 for five. This is gonna absolutely blow me up, but it's good. What we, but it's what we gotta do to increase our muscular endurance, our capacity, and just get all around better. All right, we're very pumped with that. Absolutely dripping right now. 365 for six. Every two minutes for 10 minutes. Had like a minute and 25 seconds every minute to rest. The compounding effect on the volume and the strength is just absolutely nuts on your lungs and legs. But that's what builds character, builds men. Gets you, gets you a lot better. You push yourself, right? So that type of thing right there, though, is gonna make me so sore. So that's why I prioritize nutrition, hydration, electrolytes during the entire day, and then especially at night. Because now I'm super fatigued, but I have to push into a Metcon, and I have to give it my all. So, that's where we're at right now. All right, we just finished session number two. Pretty much what we did, we just got the mech on. Definitely very fatiguing, but got through it. Very hard on my legs after all that squat volume. And then we did 50, uh, then we did 50 ab wheel rollouts. And then we did eight snatch grip Romanian deadlifts. So I'm absolutely coached from today's training. So the plan now is to go home, eat, work, recover, and kind of just get my body moving so I can perform tomorrow and the rest of the week. Because what's been happening on these Monday sessions is I can literally feel the DOMS, the delayed onset muscle soreness, on Friday, which is super not optimal. So I'll be flushing my legs a lot with, with the bike, and then I'll be flushing my legs a lot with the Mark Pro, just because I don't want that accumulated fatigue affecting me the rest of the week. So I'm definitely gonna do it as much as I can tonight to stop that DOMS as much as I possibly can. It's 7.57 right now, so I'm gonna eat this up, and then in about an hour and a half, I'm gonna have another high protein meal, just so I can continue to fuel my body and not eat too close to when I go to sleep. 
And I also want to talk about this bison towel that I've been putting on my calluses. My hands have been ripping like crazy doing all this gymnastics work. So I literally put this bison tallow on my hands and it works absolute wonders. It has bison tallow, beeswax, shea butter, and jojoba oil. And all this stuff is just so incredible for healing your hands. So if you guys are having rips or any type of thing that's causing you to not be able to train the way you want to, I definitely recommend getting this bison tallow from Dakota Pure Bison. Absolutely changes the game. All right, so now we're just getting the recovery going. We just got some work done. I have the Mark Pro put on right now. I'm gonna do a 30 minute leg flush just on my vascius medialis oblique and my vascius lateralis. Fancy terms, but you just put it on your quad. And then we're obviously staying hydrated with some electrolytes. Like I said, I do 1500 milligrams of sodium every single day because when we sweat, we lose sodium, potassium, and magnesium. And we need to replenish this in order to have proper muscle contractions and proper performance day in and day out. It's also huge for recovery. All right, guys, so to cap off the 4,000 calories for today, we got a day's bagel with peanut butter. We got an apple. We got a 20 gram protein yogurt, some bison. And we're, of course, using Teddy's all natural peanut butter on our bagel. So pretty much this is going to top me off for the entire night. It's about 9.45 right now and this is gonna allow me to digest my meal so I can sleep well at night. And this is something that I go for almost every single night. I'm consistently craving it. And like I always talk about those systems that work best for you, this is a type of meal that just works best for me. It sits well in my stomach. It allows me to sleep great. And it's something that I just prioritize and always do. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. It's been an absolute blast today. Much more content to come. I definitely love doing this and love giving content to you guys, so the journey is just beginning. So like always, if you could like, subscribe, share, it does mean the world and helps the channel. So I appreciate you all. Peace.